what happens when a machine pulls the trigger. Not metaphorically, not by accident, but literally, deliberately. When artificial intelligence takes a life, who stands trial? Can we actually charge robot with murder? We all know what murder is. It's not just bloodshed, it's intent. It's the cold, calculated decision of a mind choosing to end a life. But what happens when the killer has no mind at all? When intelligence is artificial, but the death is real, what happens to the law? Justice has always been human. The legal system relies on intent, responsibility, and remorse. Human beings carry the emotional weight of their decisions, and that's part of why punishment exists. But an AI, no matter how advanced, has no conscience, no soul. It doesn't understand the meaning of life, let alone its loss. It doesn't wrestle with guilt. It doesn't reflect. And yet, if it made the decision to kill, and it made it deliberately, shouldn't there be consequences? Who should be held responsible? The algorithm, the engineer, the institution? Do we simply say no one is? Some argue AI should be given legal identity, treated like corporations, which aren't people but can still be convicted. It builds an ecosystem of responsibility. If AI can be punished, then companies will build more cautiously, knowing their creations carry legal risk. But on the other hand, convicting AI means redefining what it means to be guilty. It means assigning moral weight to lines of code. It may feel like closure, a way to place blame, but it's an illusion. Because the moment we start convicting machines, we might stop holding humans accountable for what they create. And if we go too far down that path, we may build a world where no one is ever truly responsible. Where murder has no murderer. The greatest danger isn't that no one is responsible when AI kills. It's that everyone is. And when guilt becomes too diluted, justice becomes impossible.